Hello. What is up, y'all? Mrs. Mime 100 here with another Pokemon Go episode for you. We are currently at the High Line. This is the Standard Hotel behind me, and they have a special art exhibit by Daniel Arsham right now, which is the trainer in Pikachu and the Mewtwo kind of broken down. It's super cool. You should come see it if it's still available. I don't know how long it's going to be here for. But anyway, this weekend is Shadow Lugia Raids. The shiny is available, but it's only available this weekend. The FOMO is real. I just worked out a little bit, so I am really tired right now. But we're going to try to film and do a couple of Lugia raids. I know in the nearby there's one that's already hatched that has about 30 minutes, and one that's hatching in like 40 minutes that I might go do that one after I get some food, because I am so hungry and tired. <laughs> Let's go! down. That took quite a bit of time because there was only seven people in there, but what are you going to do? Rescue Pokemon? Here's a shiny. Not shiny. 1979 though. Great. Two. Are you freaking kidding me? Last ball. 1979. I, I don't even know if that's good, honestly. Wasn't a good throw. One. Okay, well, that's that. The other one hatches 18 minutes. I should mention earlier on the way here, I did get myself a shiny costume Pikachu, the brand new shiny costume Pikachu. Super cool. I mean, costume Pikachus are always cool as a shiny, so there we go. All right, let's go. We have got Shadow Lugia down. 17 people in the second raid. We only get the shiny though. Are we assuming the odds are 1 in 20? Like other legendaries? I don't know. 3, 2, 1. No shiny. Why are these so hard to catch? Maybe I'm just a scrub these days. I don't know. Oh, Lugia is ridiculous. I've never liked the catch circle, let's be real. If it was shiny, though, it'd be automatic catch. <sighs> what? It, like, I can't even throw the ball, like, that high on my screen. It doesn't even work. Come on. Oh, my God. Last ball, again. <laughs> Folks, this is just... Oh. One. Hello. Welcome back to the Bronx, aka not my apartment. I'm actually in the garden of my apartment complex. We had a little bit of an adventure today. We went from our fitness class to the meatpacking district, which was super crowded today because the weather was in the high 70s, I think 80. We probably reached 80. I was sweating all day long wearing my jeans and this hoodie. Let's check if we got any sneaky hundos. No sneaky hundos today. But in terms of shinies, we did get ourselves the Pikachu at the very beginning of the day, so that's pretty neat. We only ended up doing two Lugia raids because I got very distracted after Chelsea Market, the High Line, and uh, I went to Sephora and I basically spent like an hour there. Shout out to uh, one of the associates there, Zoe, who spent so much time diligently helping me with stuff. In any case, <laughs> we do have one Phantup research quest here that we have gathered from the day of all the ghost types. So I'm going to do that really quick and maybe we get a shiny Phantup to end the day. That would be amazing. I've been hunting for it since the first Halloween event earlier this year, earlier this year, earlier this month. 
Last week. It was last week. Okay. And then we will check this research. Come on, shiny Phantop. Three, two, one. No. Oh, 458. That is not a good CP. I already know that off the top of my head. Well, thank you so much for watching this short little video. I did want to go over one more thing, which was we have the Dia de Mortos event coming up. Here we go. Dia de Mortos is coming to Pokemon Go. That's Wednesday the 1st at 10 a.m. until Thursday the 2nd at 8 p.m. A very, very short event. Basically, Cubone will be making its debut wearing a Sempasutral crown. Marowak also as well. Um, double candy for catching Pokemon. Trainers in Latin America and the Caribbean will also be getting additional candy bonuses and transferring bonuses because that's the origins of the event is Mexico. Speaking of Mexico, I know I have said this previously if you were in my streams or on social media or whatever. I originally said I was not going to the City Safari event in Mexico City. However, I will be there. I've changed my mind. Things have changed. I'm going to be there. If you are as well, let me know in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to getting our very first, hopefully, shiny Go-Goat, as well as lots of Mexico City exclusive Pokemon. Plus, a lot of other content creators will be there. I'm looking forward to collaborating with them. And that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below how your Halloween Part 2 event is going. Any shinies for you, let me know. See y'all next time. Bye.